Today's lesson will be on non-mechanical energy. For all periods, this lesson will be due on Friday, January 31st. So far, we've turned, learned about two different types of energy. Uh, we've learned about kinetic energy, which remembers the energy of motion, so when things are moving. And we've also learned about potential energy, which is when things have the potential to move. So for example, when I'm holding a box at rest, right above the ground. Once I let it go, it will drop and gain kinetic energy. Remember that these two types of energy fall underneath the big category that's called mechanical energy. All right, so this is um, a type of energy that uh, has to do with moving parts. So kinetic and potential energy are, are two types of mechanical energy. And mechanical energy falls under this big category. All right, so all of energy. And beneath energy, we split it into these two categories. We've got the mechanical part, and now we're going to learn about the other part, which is going to be the non-mechanical. And thinking about how this non means not, right? So everything that's not mechanical is falling, going to fall underneath non-mechanical. And today we'll talk about the different types of non-mechanical energy that we will most frequently refer to in class. We'll start off talking about thermal energy, so thermal energy. And if we look at this root word from thermal, therm, we can often think of things such as thermometer, thermometer. So thermal energy is anything that has to do with this, with this idea of heat. So for example, we can talk about uh, friction is an example of thermal when thermal energy is released. Um, if you, for example, rub sandpaper together really quickly and then you feel the sandpaper, you will notice that it gets really warm. Uh, that's because thermal energy is being released. The next type of energy, non-mechanical energy, that we want to talk about is called acoustic. And what acoustic means, if you think of an acoustic guitar, this just means uh, any energy that has to do with sound. So Sound is an actual type of energy because it's causing air particles to actually move. In order for us to be able to hear something, we interpret that with our brain. Another type of non-mechanical energy is what we call chemical energy. And chemical energy, we think about, uh, for example, food has chemicals in it that we break down. Within our body, all of the reactions that happen in our body are also chemical reactions. Another type of uh, energy that we can talk about is electrical energy and we'll be focusing quite a bit on electrical energy uh, near the middle and end of the semester. So an example that you probably see pretty frequently out on the street is the power lines that kind of are going along the street. That's a type of electrical uh, energy, electricity is running through those power lines. We can also think of for example um, lightning is a type of electricity, it has electrical energy. Lastly, we've also talked about batteries. When they're being used, they're actually giving off electricity. The last type of energy that we want to think about, non-mechanical, is radiant energy. Uh, and radiant energy, oftentimes what we think of for here, is light. So when we're talking about solar cells um, converting radiant energy, uh, that's because they are taking the light from the sun, converting it into stuff that we can use. So to kind of sum it up, there is energy, which can split into two categories, mechanical and non-mechanical. Within mechanical, there are two categories that we've spent a lot of time learning. Uh, kinetic, the energy of motion. Potential, the energy of position. And now we've learned about different types of non-mechanical energy. Thermal, uh, which is like heat, acoustic, being sound. Chemical, being, for example, the reactions that happen in your body or with food. Electrical. Uh, thinking about batteries, power lines, lightning, and radiant, uh, where we think about solar energy um, or light, for example. Now keep in mind that just as we've learned how uh, kinetic and potential energy, how energy can transfer between those, that's why we called that the conservation of mechanical energy, uh, we can also actually uh, transfer energy between any of these types. So for example, I could go from potential energy to acoustic energy, 
um, and back, or I can go from kinetic to thermal energy to back. I can go from electrical energy to chemical energy and back. So there's a lot of transfers that can occur between these, and overall that's just called the conservation of energy, being all energy, as opposed to just our idea of mechanical energy. That's it for today. Make sure that you took good notes so that you are ready for the quiz. See you later.